Okay, guys, another budget review on the Knives Fast channel. Guys, uh, welcome, and please uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, stick around for a live stream on Monday night, KF Live, and check me out over on Instagram. Now, this knife comes by way of Justin over at White Mountain Knives. I'm an affiliate over there, and if you uh, use code KNIVESFAST at checkout, you will get 10% off on most uh, items. There are a few exceptions, but not a lot. Now, this is a knife from CJRB. Uh, it is the J1935-BK. I just wish they'd put the names on these boxes, but okay. Uh, you have the number, and it is called the Hectare. Uh, now, right off the bat, guys, this one has been uh, getting a lot of comparisons to a lot of different things. Some people say bug out. Some people say um, Vostid raccoon. Some people, I mean, there's been all kinds of things that this one has been compared to, uh, but in my mind, it's a good knife all on its own. Now you have checkered G10 here, very nice and very grippy. You do have a uh, chamfer on either side of uh, the entry point uh, to the hole there, and uh, you have chamfering all the way around. Now you do have uh, full liners, yep, uh, nested liners on both sides, with lots of skeletonization. You do have a uh, lanyard hole. You have a deep carry steel bent over clip that sits on the scales and has flat screws. You have nothing basically sticking out of the pocket and it is reversible. You have barrel spacers. You kind of have to take one of those barrel spacers out, flip it around, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but it's doable. Uh, one of the things that stands off right off the bat and but. Uh, Benchmade does this a lot too. You got black screws and you have a silver axis uh, bar lock. Um, yeah, I just wish that was black too. But, you know, uh, to each their own. And, and even the liners are blacked out. Um, your blade opening method is only the hole. And you have a really sweet drop point looking blade. CJRB here, you have a yeah, high or tall flat grind here on this one. And then right here you have AR RPM 9 and the J, uh, whatever that is, 1935 uh, number. Very nice looking satin finish. And you have a finger choil uh, that gives you plenty of relief for your uh, lock there. I mean, excuse me, your uh, sharpening choil there uh, so that you can uh, definitely sharpen this one a bunch of times. Uh, and it is a very thin stock. We'll talk about that. And you have really nice jimping. Now, this is a four-finger knife. And for me, guys, we have a, finally, we have one of these knives that has sort of the back guard and the front guard. And my hand fits right in there really nicely and feels good. Four-finger grip. Thumb comes right up here. And if you're up above that, feels good as well. Uh, the jimping is nice, but so is the, the nice chamfered area. And yes, that's not a cut. It's just where my stupid thumb is cracking open from the dry weather, but whatever. Um, so very nice. It's not... Um, so the only thing I wish is that there was a tiny little bit more cut out for that hole. Now, can I get in it and flick it? Yeah. I, whoops. And then I screw it up right when I say it. I got to kind of back up to the top of the hole. Um, man, I didn't get it again. I just did it a minute ago. There we go. Um, it's just kind of hard to get your finger in there because there's not a ton of room, as you can see. Now, thumb-wise, you can get in there. You go right at this chamfer. You can get down in that, um, get right on that lip, and whoops, and just flick it out. It still could be better. I just wish they made access to that hole better. It's funny. You have kind of the finger groove here. I don't know why they didn't just extend that the length of the hole. If they did that, I think you're golden. Um, but that's just me. Um, it is running on bearings. And you can see uh, when we do open up, uh, we're very smooth on the drop. The spring, uh, and part of the reason it's harder to flick too, is the spring is strong. And that's why you get a little bit of a detent feel there. Um, because you have a very strong spring, which you can see when you get down here. You see how it stops? Well, I threw it home that time, but if you just do this, you can see it sort of stops, and then when I let go, it pulls in. Uh, whoa, all right, let me do that again. I'm sorry, I didn't realize this is that high. When you let go, it just sort of does that, and then when you do that, it goes and pops in. It's because it's a very strong spring. 
Um, and it works well. Now, again, as far as choke up, you can get up here, but just be careful to get off of the corner of that blade. Uh, for me, this is the grip. Uh, this feels very nice. It is flat scales, but it feels good. Um, you kind of feel the clip just slightly right there in your palm, but not at all what I would call a uh, hot spot at all. You do have uh, kind of a spear pointish tip here, so you can. I'm not cutting hard because I don't want to go through my box, but you can see you can use that tip very nicely. You got a little bit of belly there you can drag through as well. Um, and as far as slicing, guys, it is killer. Um, and I, as I totally screw up there, but you can see it is a crazy, very nice slicer. And that's what I like the most about this knife. I think it's just going to be a good worker. Now they do have this in several colors. Let's see what we got here on Artisan's website. There is a yellow G10, a very bright yellow, a very bright green G10. Let's show you the yellow. So there's the yellow, uh, there's the green. This, it's interesting. Hold on. Can you give me the green back? Okay, here we go. There's the green. Okay. And then we have a bright pink and then black. Uh, so it's got lots of bright colors and then uh, black. So that's really interesting. Now this one is $66.65 at Artisan's website. I will leave a link down below. They did send me the, oh no, excuse me. They didn't send it to me. White Mountain did. So I will leave a link to White Mountain actually. I don't know what I'm talking about because um, Artisan did send me two other knives. So that's why I'm confused. But uh, yes, it is. Let's, let's just make sure that's the same price over on White Mountain. Let's just do this. Um, and don't forget at White Mountain, you can save 10% with code uh, KNIVESFAST. And again, it is called the Hectare, H-E-C-T-A-R-E. -E. Um, and at White Mountain, they are actually, I'm sorry, that is way higher price at Artisan. At uh, White Mountain Knives, they are $49.99. But unfortunately, uh, the only ones that are available is the yellow and the pink, the black and the green are both sold out, but they are $49.99, plus you get 10% off with code Knives Fast. That's a deal, guys. Uh, definitely check those out over at White Mountain. All right, let's do our comparison. So number one is, I uh, got them out of order, but that's okay. There is your Ontario Rat 2, and you can see the Rat 2 is slightly smaller, and the Rat 1 is way bigger. So there's your kind of comparison sandwich. Um, as far as specs, this guy is a 3.15 blade length. And again, it is thin with a 0.11 blade thickness, which is why it cuts so well. It is a sand polished uh, finish on the flat ground blade with AR RPM 9, 59 to 61 hardness. Uh, the handle is G10. It is a drop point on, on ceramic ball bearings with a crossbar lock, of course, 7.35 inches overall, and the closed length is 4.2, 3.18 ounces. Um, and just really cool, made in China, of course. I dig this one a lot. By the way, I forgot to tell you, um, we came uh, off to the clip side ever so slightly, and uh, lockup wise, yeah, dead on. No problems, no lock rock, no blade play at all. So really cool knife. And these uh, are available. Again, if you want certain colors, you might have to look around. But uh, the yellow and the um, pink are available at White Mountain for $49.99 and that 10% off with code KNIVESFAST. So really cool. Thank you, Justin, for sending this one along. And guys, thanks for checking it out. Make sure you let me know what you think down below. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and a comment. And guys, I appreciate each and every one of you for watching the Knives Fast channel.